We've headed the ECOWAS election observation mission to Ghana, which commanded the conduct of the just concluded presidential and parliamentary elections in the West African country. In an interview with our correspondent, Musbao Dan Wahab, the former Liberian president speaks on other issues, including the growth of democracy on the African continent. Coming from this background of this election in Ghana, and you've seen it across uh, this sub-region to West Africa, do you think democracy is growing on this continent? Democracy right now is under threat in certain places. We want to be truthful about this. Uh, in some places, constitutions have been changed. Uh, in some cases, um, we, we see you know, small threats of, of um, dictatorships coming in one or two places. Uh, so, and, but it's not only in Africa, mind you. Uh, this threat is coming, perhaps uh, is being initiated by the countries that uh, were the vanguard for democracy. Uh, and so it's something that it's a global threat that we all have to monitor and we all have to find a way to challenge it, you know, Democracy has to be won every day, in every process. Okay, Your Excellency, now, in all of these, ECOWAS has been standing by its uh, babies, uh, practically. What do, what do you make of the roles ECOWAS is playing towards ensuring the growth of democracy in this sub-region? Let me stand up for ECOWAS on that one. <laughs> because ECOWAS, among all the regional commissions, have stood the test of time. ECOWAS has been able to exemplify uh, what it takes for respect for the Constitution. They've insisted on it and acted appropriately when there was a violation. And so we, should, we all applaud ECOWAS for that. And I believe the other regions have been looking. And when we go, the international community has applauded ECOWAS for their steadfastness in promoting democracy in ensuring that the rule of law prevails. Your Excellency, you are one of the few um, great ladies we have on this continent. And now, in Ghana, we had just three uh, ladies uh, out of uh, 12 who participated in the election. What do you make of the roles the ladies are playing now on the continent? I expected that question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Africa has not, well, the world. I'm going to leave the world, the global situation, and stick with Africa. With exceptions, Africa has not done well to accord women the equity that they deserve, not only for their, for their numbers, equal, equal numbers in the population, but also equal in every other way equal in knowledge, equal in talents, you know, uh, equal in courage, and I might say exceptional, above men, when it comes to being able to address issues, particular issues that affect humankind. We look at COVID-19, and we see that those countries that were able to respond quickly and to address um, the virus were headed by women. Yet our numbers at the decision-making levels, at the pinnacle, is too small. Today there's a gap in Africa. You know, I served two terms as the one democratically elected woman president. How long will it take us to get another? Uh, correspondent uh, Musba Dan Wahab there speaking with the former pre Liberian president on uh, democracy on the African continent.